Hey everybody, welcome to another episode from Ampro Engineering. Today we're going to talk about the Tamiya M03 chassis, although some of the upgrades that you're going to see here are not necessarily going to be bound to the M03. In this case we have the body of the Fiat 500. This is the new release of the Fiat 500, the car itself, not the RC car. This is obviously not the old 500 from the 60s. This is the new 500 that is currently for sale at least right now in 2016. Anyway, on to the actual RC car portion of this. The first upgrade, which is going to be the most noticeable, uh, are the, the wheels that you see here. The, uh, the, the rims that the 500 from Tamiya came with are like a, kind of like a, the best way I can describe them is they are a multi-spoke wheel. If anybody is familiar with American cars from the 1970s, uh, they're like a much more dense version of a hurricane wheel. Uh, however, without any of the charm or charisma, they're just kind of a bleh wheel. Is bleh a word? That's good enough. So when I got this uh, this this chassis here, um, I, I didn't want the wheels, so I went ahead and modeled these up. To those of you who happen to maybe uh, like the Fiat 500, these, I, and I, I, I apologize because I don't know if these are a world wheel or if these were just a US release wheel for the Fiat 500. These came out in the, uh, the first edition Fiat 500s. Uh, maybe they were available on some of the other ones as well, but I remember seeing these on the first edition cars. Uh, they are a very easy wheel to paint on the, uh, on this particular uh, car because uh, it's hard to see here. I'll, I'll pull the wheel off in a second. But basically, the wheel came in the black plastic, or the back. It's a uh, SLS, so that's Selective Laser Centered Nylon Printing. And they were super simple. I just gave them a really light sanding, and then I took a silver paint pen and simply painted the outside of the the wheel here in this silver color. The beauty is the uh, the factory wheel is painted. On the inside, a charcoal black. So, you know, with a couple minutes of wheel, you're basically ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this wheel off and show you how it looks on the inside. All right, when I uh, created these wheels, I created them based on a measurement of a, uh, of a seven millimeter nut driver that I had here. I wanted to make sure the actual nut driver part did fit in the hole to take the nut off. So for me, this, this works, you know, without any problem. Um, I, I really hope it works the same way for you. And just to make sure, I'm gonna go ahead and take this nut driver here and show you exactly what the measurement is of the nut driver. All right, so basically this will easily accept a nut driver with a outer diameter of focus, focus. There you go. 10 and a half millimeters, okay? So most likely, I mean, this is probably gonna be a pretty standard size, but I just want to tell you that is what it happens to fit. All right, and here's the wheel. I mean, nothing really spectacular on the inside. There are a number of ribs here that reinforce the main hub. These ribs are half a millimeter thick and provide a tremendous amount of rigidity to the wheel. Okay, again, these are nylon wheels, very durable and uh, they, you know, they fit right onto a standard uh, M-Class wheel. The offset that you see here uh, is a stock offset for probably all of the Tamiya M-Series vehicles. It's hard for me to say that uh, with certainty as I only own this Tamiya M-Series car. My sister has an M02, but unfortunately she's not too close to me, so I, I can't actually try that out. But uh, from what I have uh, seen, that these are going to be a factory offset. So they're not gonna stick out too far. They're not gonna be inset too far in. They're gonna be how you would find a standard wheel to be set. So for the next upgrade, I do wanna take the body off, but you can kind of see the next upgrade already. So these body posts that you see here, these happen to be purple. Uh, it's kind of weird because the car actually is purple, but it looks blue in this. I don't understand why it looks so blue, but man, it's the car is actually purple. It's just not really showing properly. Uh, the body mounts 
I made for this car. So the car was kind of a piecemeal deal. I got this uh, beat up chassis on eBay for next to nothing. It was missing a lot of stuff. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and just buy new body mounts for it. Unfortunately, the time I was looking for these body mounts, nothing was available. So I went ahead and just modeled some up right quick. And here we have them. Uh, the irony is the minute these arrived, I found them on eBay. However, uh, if memory serves uh, a left, or sorry, uh, each pair from one front, one rear, I believe, comes on one sprue. So you need two sprues to make all four body posts. However, the cost of both of those sprues, I know for sure it was two sprues, the cost of those was way more than the cost of these to print. So it was kind of surprising to see how expensive these were uh, from, you know, the, the stock ones versus actually printing these out. I do want to mention to you that these are exact copies. You know, I do not like to make weird modifications. This is exactly how the stock one would look, how it would fit, save for the fact that it actually is purple. Same number of uh, body post holes. I mean, I, I made them as close to the original as possible. So the rear body mounts have a bit more geometry that you see here, and that's because they accept the antenna mount from the MO3. I don't know if this is common to multiple cars. I know the MO2 has a very similar unit here that I did reproduce. That actually is available from uh, my store, the MO2 antenna mount, which I think is the same as the MO1. I'm, I'm no expert by any means on these cars, but I just want to mention to you that the geometry necessary to attach that antenna mount is there and uh, fully operational. So you just go and screw that in and you are ready to go. That is not the, uh, the only upgrade I did. I also made this. I was trying to figure out a place to mount the switch. And I think even the Timmy Emanuel said double-sided tape to the side of this. And I, th I said to myself, I would rather not do that. So I just modeled up this little, this little bracket right here. It allows the switch. Uh, this is a Tamiya speed control, but you know, any speed control that's got one of these standard on off switches should work fine. Uh, I just mounted the switch so that it protrudes into the chassis. It doesn't stick out nearly as much. And uh, I think it's you know, pretty, pretty self-explanatory bolts to these two bolts here. I think these are the mounting points for a mechanical speed control resistor. If you are running an MSC, well, you probably wouldn't need this anyway. But uh, just, just giving you a heads up that I believe this is where the MSC would, would fit. So this is just a little adapter there. So you can put it on and off switch. You know, it's no double-sided tape, and it tucks in a little bit so it doesn't stick out nearly as far, and uh, you know, there you have it. Well, kind of a quick review. You know, the M03, or really the M-Class cars are, uh, are not something that I'm huge into, but I really love these cars, uh, and I've been, there's been a couple that I've really been eyeballing. So who knows? We might see some things. Uh, I do have, a, I do have a couple of other parts coming out for the M-Class cars. Um, the mirrors for the Volkswagen Beetle, not the Sand Scorcher, but you know, the standard Beetle on the MO2. And I want to say the MO6 chassis, I will be having those available pretty shortly. They're super nice. And I know that those mirrors kind of get broken when you look at them. These are going to be fragile. Don't get me wrong. Cause they're going to be super high detail, but at least you're going to have the ability to snag those uh, and be maybe a little bit more accurate as well. So those will be on the horizon coming up here soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I know it was kind of quick and definitely not like me as it wasn't a Hornet. So that's, that's kind of interesting. Please subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Ampro Engineering. And there's going to be a link to both of those sites as well as my Shapeways page where you can acquire all of these parts. I did want to mention too that the rims uh, come as only one. So you need to make sure you order four of these rims. I originally tried to attach them with a sprue to see if that would lower the price and actually increased it. So it's cheaper. Just, just go ahead and buy four of these. And uh, these, I believe, come in a pair. It's been a while since I've actually looked at these, but these are also available front as well as rear. The previews that you see on Shapeways, by the way, are accurate to what you're going to get. So if you see one of these body posts in a preview, then you're going to get one. If you see two, you're going to get two. So just a heads up on that. Thank you so much for watching. Before you take off, at the end of this video, there's a link to the band Blue Pinto. They are the band that allows me to use all of their songs for my videos. Great band. I really like them. So go ahead and check them out. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.